guys NHRA 1975 just doing a little uh, update video here uh, I installed the trailer hitch and uh, guess what it was a struggle so whoever installed that before must I think they just freaking hacked it in they didn't end up you work uh, meaning there's like rivets and here's and and there and this piece back here needs to be sort of catered uh, or cratered a bunch of clearancing needs to be done in order for that uh, that bolt to work in that frame area so anyways it's in but again like whoever did it before they must just have hacked it in and I need to fix it um, and this part of the frame was bent so I relief cut it and welded it. Now I'm probably going to get my friend there as a better, he's a much better welder than me and, and plus he has a more powerful welder to finish that up and make it a little nicer at some point. Uh, but the thing is too is this, uh, with the uh, trailer hitch on, I won't be able to close the garage door. That's a chalk line for approximately where the door would fall. So I'm going to take this off, but at least I know it fits and uh you know which is which is nice um for later and basically uh i'll put it on i'll put it on in the when this thing is in the laneway so i mean i know i wanted to get all the bumper and hitch on and everything but for now uh just because of space requirements i'm gonna have to remove this and store this for the winter um I guess that's the thing about using uh, my uh, my garage here. Just it's not a massive garage, but I used to have a garage. I know there's other YouTube videos that uh, you know I watch. The guys they're working in the middle of uh, this guy in Mississippi. He's like working in a forest kind of thing, almost with pine needles and everything. He has no part. Not even a floor. He just uses a a. Uh, I guess a uh, tarp or whatever but uh, anyway so yeah just gonna remove the uh, remove that remove this hitch and I'm gonna store the bumper pretty big bumper as you can tell store the bumper and the hitch for the winter because I really need to get the transmission and of course the engine in this so over the winter, I'll install the engine trans in it. Well, I'll install the engine trans this fall for sure and have it in here and then start working on the rest of all this area over the winter and get all the various brackets and lines, exhaust, everything associated with the engine. So I'll do that. Um, but yeah. Also, the transmission initially, I thought I would be using the stock wiring harness and use this as the sending control for the uh, speedometer but I'm not going to do that I'm going like all mechanical speedo is up here left over from the Monte so I'm going to uh, have to put a gear a gear on this thing so there's there's a gear in here you probably can't see it hardly but anyways that has to come out and then I have to uh, slide on another gear and then uh, I'll be in business for an, an analog analog speedometer, so that needs to get done. Uh, I need to get a uh, I got the cross member here, so that's where I'm gonna see where this trend sits. Maybe clean that up, put a new mount on it, yeah. And then after that, drop the engine in, engine slash trans. Hopefully, can do that this month. And I'll clear up a lot of space. The crane and the uh, the stand uh, both will be uh, out of here. So I mean, I'm gonna have to put the snowblower in here eventually. So they'll just free up a lot of space. And then the winter work on this. Uh, I also did do the uh, windshield wipers, so they work now. Now. I can only get uh, them to work on the high speed right now, but that's fine. I'll, over the winter, I'll work on the switch. 
work on this switch to get this thing to go uh, to work at all the speeds necessary. The windshield washer pump, I'll uh, wire that as well. Uh, the pump, the pump's pretty easy. It's just it's it's within this actual container, and there's a hot and a, and a ground. And then yeah, I need to get another piece for the windshield wiper cowl. So I'm gonna go to scrapyard tomorrow and get one of these. Whoever, well I know who took it off. The guy I bought this truck from, like his son-in-law stole the windshield wiper and he just snapped all the little ears off. So this thing won't really work very well. So I'm gonna go to the junkyard and get one of these unbroken. Hopefully that it's available and then I can have at least that piece and I'm also missing one of the side pieces here. You gotta remember which one's missing that fits on there for the windshield wiper cowl. But yeah, that's it really. Um, the windshield wiper motor does work, so that's good. And yeah, so looking forward to getting the engine trans in here and starting uh, starting on the front. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty much done with the rear for now. There's not much more it can do because I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna push this any further forward therefore reducing my accessibility i mean i can just wait until the truck's actually running and in the laneway then i can put on this huge bumper i think it must weigh about 150 pounds i don't know it's like like deadlifting it and then put on the trailer hitch and then with all the easy easeability of hooking up the wiring it won't be too bad for the trailer hitch you know the, the plug that goes here for the, the brake trailer brake and also for all the uh tail lights and everything like right up there it's pretty easy to access it all so i'll wait until next year to to do the rear end to put all the, the rest of the back stuff together here okay not a whole much i guess really to say with not much of, of an exciting update but you know for the 10 people that watch it hopefully uh there's some kind of excitement in it i don't know where okay all right guys.